Can you hear yeah. me alright? Can you hear yeah. me? Yeah, right? we hear you perfectly. With the with the big mic. <laughs> so then um, i'm first gonna ask you very simple questions about the song of course okay uh, the distorted light beam song it's a it's a disco dance song yeah sort of we wanted to make like i don't know this album which we're this is the first track off an album that's kind of all about like the future and escapism and euphoria and uh yeah we wanted to make something kind of sort of dark that like lean towards i guess french dance music in a way um, and, you know, going into summer and, you know, hopefully the world kind of opening up a bit, we wanted to put something out that's like kind of really dark <laughs> and, 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 you know, talks about all the things we want to talk about, but at the same time, just kind of makes you want to imagine you're in some like mad futuristic club or festival somewhere. You mentioned French house. I hear some Daft Punk voices, maybe. Uh, yeah, and also... We- in the we, end, uh, the weekend vibe. I don't know if, what your inspiration was exactly. The song's about, you know, it's about technology and it's about dreaming and it's about escapism. So we wanted to, throughout the album, kind of play with ideas of of the real and the synthetic. So, you know, in this, there's a lot of electronic sounds in this song, but there's also these big strings as well. I hope it takes people away to, to some strange imagined future in their heads. Well, I was going to ask what the best spot is, according to you, to give it a first listen or one of the first listens. Good question. I've got no idea. I can't imagine being anywhere except in my house right now. <laughs> okay, maybe in the house then. <laughs> no, but, but yeah, I guess like, I guess headphones on, headphones on, stand stand at the lights, the light switch and just flick the lights on and off and create this own little like party in your in your house. We'd love to be playing these songs, you know, one day at a festival and at a show with lots of, lots of flashing lights. And uh, yeah, that's the plan. <laughs> Okay, you already mentioned the forthcoming album, which will be out this year. Um, do you have any idea when? You know, now that this now that this song is out, it's like it's kind of kicked the doors off, and it's going to be all go between here and the record, and it'll be sooner than you think. So we're yeah, I guess it's a proper proper lockdown album, and uh, and we just wanted to push ourselves and do something that felt kind of new and treat it as like a fresh start so uh, you sing uh, um, in the distorted light being you sing if this is life i choose fiction and um i get the futuristic thing about the album and and the idea but it also sounds a bit depressing i think i don't know <laughs> what it tells us about your state of mind yeah i think we all feel like that at points you know <clears throat> when you're I think you know this last year and a half has been really confronting and challenging for 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 everyone you know um and I think for me when I'm feeling when I'm feeling anxious or depressed or whatever like you look for distraction in different things you know you look for for mm-hmm. if it's in a book or a film or in some music or whatever or in your friends or if you know or, or any of those things and I think sometimes when you feel dissatisfied with life I guess the character in this song and in this album is feeling like completely you know, like frustrated with the life they have and frustrated with real life. Um, but if what you're trying to say is, am I okay? Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> you're okay. Yeah, I'm fine. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Because uh, many artists we, we've heard uh, over the, the past year said they, they had difficulties defining themselves again, because mm. the artist part of your personality was like sleeping <laughs> or, yeah. or wasn't active. And I don't know what your experience was with that. You, you became uh, like the, the purest version of yourself again. I, you know, I love, I love being in a band and I love, uh, I love going on tour, but the, the parts of the the parts of doing it that I really love um, and that I do naturally are writing songs and being in the studio. So um, as much as I'm hugely grateful for for being able to play shows and being able to travel and being able to, you know, interact with, with people who like our music, like it's amazing, but I'm quite introverted and I'm quite, I'm quite kind of awkward and shy. So the idea of being on stage every night, that's not like, that's not what fuels me. That's not what like, yeah. Mm-hmm. that's not the bit that I absolutely love a last question um I, I think you're not that much into football then oh uh, it's the Euros oh, at the moment yeah 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 you watching? well I, you watching? of course because the Belgian team is doing great and I was yeah. just want, yeah. wanting to ask you like how much do you believe in our team becoming champion of Europe obviously 
I, I, I want and believe England to win because I'm a deluded British guy. Um, <laughs> but uh, and now that Scotland are out, I guess, yeah, Belgium. That's, that's, that's my team. Okay, thank you so much, Dan, for, for, uh, for everything you said. Thank you, it's so nice to see you. I'm glad yeah. you're here. Yeah, and let's meet up uh, in real life soon. I would love that. Yeah, and I want to I wanna, I wanna come join a festival. I want to be well, there. Okay, <laughs> we'll make that work, I promise you.